Welcome to the instructional video for the NASCO Lifeform Advanced IV Arm Skin and Vein Replacement Kit. This video will enable you to easily change the skin and veins for our advanced venipuncture and injection arm by walking you through the process from start to finish. The NASCO Lifeform Advanced Venipuncture and Injection Arm is the best IV trainer in the world and one of NASCO's top selling products. The arm's combination of complete venous access and unmatched realism makes it an amazing tool in your training curriculum. There are two options available for purchase. The LF01122 White Skin and Vein Replacement Kit and LF01123 Black Skin and Vein Replacement Kit. The kit comes with everything needed to successfully replace the skin and veins. The kit includes IV arm skin, four replacement veins. Do not remove the outer film from the tubing as this will negatively affect the quality of the arm. NASCO lubricant, color coded instruction manual. The first step is removing the used skin and veins from your existing IV arm. Untie the string from around the shoulder opening. Take the two inlet outlet tubes out of the arm skin and pull down the skin from the arm. Remove the foam shoulder pad. Remove bicep muscle. The skin may stick to the arm due to repeated injection sessions. This sticking is from the artificial blood drying between the skin and arm. If this occurs, simply work the skin away from the arm. After disassembly, one can clean the arm with normal soap and water if needed. This will not affect future use. Continue removing the skin by moving it over the wrist and fingers. Disconnect the used tubing from the fittings on the connector block. Then simply detach all of the veins out of the arm vein channels. You are now ready to install the replacement skin and veins. Please follow along in the color coded instruction manual. This will enable you to install the veins correctly. In the kit, you receive four replacement veins of the same color and length. They may be used interchangeably. Additionally, do not remove the film from the replacement tubing, as this will negatively affect the quality of the arm. These veins connect into the eight fittings on the connector block. Each vein contains a metal spring inside. 
check that the spring is in the middle of each vein. This will prevent the tube from pinching around the fingers. Take the first vein and lubricate one end. Connect the end of the tubing into fitting number one. Work the tubing into the channel over the back of the arm. Around the third finger from the inside and back over the arm in the same channel. You will need to trim the excess tubing, being careful not to cut the vein too short. Lubricate the loose end and connect to fitting number four. Take the second vein, lubricate, and connect to fitting number two. Press the tubing into the channel, around the loop near the wrist, and back to the connector block. The tubing may be loose around the wrist. It easily slides back into the channel and will not be a problem for installing the replacement skin. Cut the end of the vein to fit. Lubricate and connect to fitting number three. Take the third replacement vein, lubricate, and connect to fitting number seven. Work it into the channel down the forearm, around the palm side of the thumb, and back toward the connector block in the same channel. Pass the vein over the first section of tubing and the second section. Cut the vein to fit, lubricate, and connect to fitting number five. Take the fourth and last vein, lubricate, and connect to fitting number six. Press it into the channel. taking extra care to minimize pinching in the loops around the two fingers and the back of the hand. Run the vein under the first tubing and over the length of the next set.
Lubricate the end of the vein and connect to fitting number 8. Check that all fitting connections are tight to prevent leakage. Next, check to ensure proper flow through the arm by taking the clear inlet outlet tubing coming out of the shoulder. Either blow or pump air into one tube and feel the flow from the other side. This ensures the arm veins are free of obstructions or pinches. If you cannot feel the flow, check for pinching of the tubes around the fingers and in the arm channels. The air bulb is not included in the kit. Either use your own or blow into the tube with your mouth. After successfully installing the replacement veins in the arm, you are now ready to install the replacement skin. First pour the remaining lubricant in the skin, allowing it to run down the sides. Massage the lubricant, working your hands back and forth, up and down, to coat the inside of the skin completely. Grasping the skin with one hand, gently slide the arm into the skin until the fingers approach the finger holes. It is important that the hand and shoulder are aligned properly and the veins have remained inside the vein channels. Carefully work the fingers in the proper finger holes. If air has been trapped between the skin and hand, work it out gently. After the fingers and wrist are properly placed, massage the skin over the core for a snug fit. Feel along the tubing channel to make sure the tubing is correctly seated. Tubing that has moved can usually be moved back into position by working on the outside of the skin. Pull back the skin, insert the bicep muscle, and foam shoulder pad. Pull the skin over the remainder of the arm, being sure that the muscle and pad remain in place. Massage the shoulder until it fits properly with the skin. Feed the inlet outlet tubing through the skin to the outside. Adjust the skin over the upper shoulder and retie the string to hold it in position. Congratulations! You have replaced the skin and veins for the NASCO Lifeform Advanced Venipuncture and Injection Arm. If you have any additional questions, review the video, read the color-coded instruction manual, or contact your local NASCO distributor.